While Google was busy beating GPT-4 with Gemini, OpenAI was already making their next 4D chess move by publishing their first text-to-video AI called Sora, a great diversion tactic for sure. By now, you're probably seeing a lot of results on social media. A few hours later, they have finally published its technical report, so it's time to dig in on the juicy details that you might have missed. Other than the extremely realistic videos that perfectly regenerated the vibes of taking a subway and captures the essence of lighting, shadows, and reflections, you can tell that this time there is something completely different. That is the 3D compositions of the generated videos. The generated videos don't look like it's simply manipulating the pixels in 2D anymore. The generated results feels like the model has a decent understanding of the 3D world. And as they stated in the technical report, there is an emerging simulation capabilities. These properties emerged without any explicit inductive bias for 3D and objects, and they are purely phenomena of scale. This means learning how to generate videos without any human intervention for its training objective naturally made the AI create an inner representation of the 3D world, all by stacking more layers. So the generated results do look like a video game, not just by chance, because by having the ability to simulate a world, the video generations wouldn't struggle in any three-dimensional changes, especially for camera movement. The idea of a 3D world simulation is further reinforced by looking at the occlusions of the background objects and the foreground characters. Instead of just simply looking like the subject is clear-cut from the background, you can straight up tell that it is completely separated. Even for animations, it feels properly composited. These emergent simulation capabilities have likely also corrected the weird glow every other AI video generator is produced. A major competitor called Runway ML for text-to-video previously has already announced that the key to success for text-to-video is by modeling the world, but OpenAI is the first to make this idea come true. So how have they done it. Sora is a diffusion transformer model from head to toe, so it inputs text or image and outputs video pixels directly. To train it, they compressed videos into a lower dimensional latent space and decomposed the representation into space-time patches. Sora then learns all these physics engine properties implicitly within the neural parameters by gradient descent through a huge amount of videos. They also stop using the traditional methods where you crop all the videos into the same aspect ratio because it would reduce its flexibility flexibility in frame composition. So they trained a lot of versions, evaluated in low resolution, then only upscale the promising ones to make it look extremely realistic. So technically, OpenAI has built a learnable simulator, basically simulator compressed within a diffusion transformer model. And the way for you to use this simulator is with words and images. A lot of people have been saying it is using or training on the parameters of Unreal Engine 5 because it looks super 3D, but no, it does not call it explicitly in its generation process process and only may have learned it in some UE5 generated training data. Which also brings us to the next point. The key to success is synthetic data, synthetic data, synthetic data. The future of AI from now is synthetic data, not just in videos by the way. A lot of the best LLM trainers have been using synthetic data for its models and it's been scoring some of the best results out there. And with synthetic data generated within game engines for AIs to train, there is potentially limitless data that the AI can learn from, especially to simulate a physics engine within the latent space. To truly comprehend Sora's 3D understanding capabilities though, there's no better test than photogrammetry or even 3D Gaussian splatting that is trained to reconstruct our reality using just 2D images. So this guy ran the footage generated by Sora and threw it into 3D GS. Keep in mind that photogrammetry itself would need a range of different camera angles of a scene to reconstruct something accurately, but for videos that have a circular camera path, it it is perfect. So yes, Sora is actually pretty good at modeling geometry. With a combination of real footage and synthetic data, it implicitly learned a lot of information about videos like 3D compositions, lighting, camera angles, and subject motions. It can even regenerate Minecraft, and it looks oddly real, especially the item bar and the hearts. The AI couldn't resist to add an actual sky and put on some optifine shaders. If you do play Minecraft, you would know that the crosshair changes depending on where you're looking at and is sometimes even do that in the generated videos. It also took out the enchanted diamond sword and was ready to commit violence. But you know what's even crazier? It combines 2D videos literally like magic. That's how insane it is at understanding the 3D aspects of videos. So when the camera goes above a certain angle, the gingerbread houses become in view, the drone morphs into a butterfly and the scenery transforms into a seafloor, an old American town turns into a city under the sea, 
and a chameleon turns into a peacock at a turn of head. This latent interpolation between subjects is so satisfying to look at. There are loads of other functionalities too, like you can set an initial image to get it to generate from a certain scene, you can extend a video forward or backwards in time, which can let you generate a seamless infinite loop, you can edit and input video to have a different scenery, and it is able to generate images, which is pretty expected for a video model, but images generated by a model that understands 3D composition might be a key to further leap forward the quality in image generations. It is currently unclear how long the videos can be generated, but so far I've seen results ranging from 5 to 15 seconds, and who knows how long it can extend the videos to be. And for those that believe these may even be cherry-picked results, Sam Oatman himself even openly asked for prompts for generating results. And the realism of some of the human it generates I can already imagine what people would do with face swaps if it becomes available. Imagine seeing a video of a crime you have never committed or the amount of political deep fakes. It'll be a wild time. So to combat this, OpenAI is not only implementing simple watermarks, but also C2PA into its generated videos. You can check out this video about C2PA if you want to learn more about it. Well, it is better at generating object interactions now, like when a painter paints, it actually draws something, but what it still needs to learn implicitly is probably like Newton's law of motion or consequential force. As right now, the model is probably only learning based on what it has seen, but if you never train it with a video of water being spilled from a cup, it will never generate the right video for it. Thus, a weird uncanny interactions between the object and its environment exists. But even for a failed result, the quality is so high that it now looks like some artistic creation. It is oddly entertaining like seeing the matrix glitching out. I bet once this is available, there will be compilation of these everywhere on the internet because it's so interesting to stare at. One of its authors even made a short video and it just shows its potential to be used in movie production and its ability to disrupt the film industry. In the future of filmmaking, you probably would just need these AI generators and touch up the details with tools to fix up the text or add some extra textures to some objects. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my cool little leaderboard for AI related websites. We added some functions so now you can check the total visits of last seven days which is pretty cool shout out to andrew laschelius chris ledoux alex J, alex Maries, miguel lim deegan fifal and many others that support me through patreon or youtube follow my twitter if you haven't and i'll see you in the next one